Hi, it's Brian B here. I trust that the event planning process is going well so far. I've got four things, four things to place on your radar as your wedding day draws a little bit closer. The first is that we value the success of your overall wedding entertainment. And we use this music planning app as the hub to capture all the information we need to give us the best chance possible in delivering a transformative entertainment experience. This leads to the second thing, which is we don't expect you to fill out everything here in one sitting. Take your time. The beauty of this app is that it's on your phone and when inspiration strikes, just open the app and add to it. We have a completion progress bar to let you know where things are at and what's still needed. Let that be your North Star. With that being said, this leads to the third thing I wanted to cover, which is we really need this completed before we schedule our Zoom meeting with you to start our creative session. That'll give us an opportunity to come ready with questions, suggestions, and enable us to really move the needle forward in our initial creative session without having to set up unnecessary subsequent meetings. Finally, and number four, let's talk about song ideas. If you decide you wanna grab some musical input from your guests, and that is truly your decision, one way to do this is on your RSVPs. When you send them out, put a line at the bottom for a song request. This will do two things. The first is it will build a list of song ideas that you get to filter through before you add them here. You can take out all the stuff you don't wanna hear. The second piece is that all of your guests will feel like they've already given their request. So on the day of the wedding, they're not gonna be bombarding the DJ with requests here and there because they will feel like they already gave it and it's already planned. It's a great tip. If you'd prefer not to do this with your RSVPs, but still want guest input, you can add them as a guest on this app. Just be sure to add them as a guest not as a host. Only the couple, the DJ, and possibly the planner, if you have one, should be in the host category. They can then add songs to the publicly viewed areas, and if you don't like the songs, you can easily discard them or categorize them as a do not play. Those are the four things I wanted to put on your radar to think about. If you need to reach out to us for any reason, click on the DJ's name in the People tab, and our phone number and email address is listed there. I hope you both enjoy the rest of the planning process, and we will talk with you both very soon.